we probably had 13 or 14 pounds by 12, 30, 1 o'clock. And uh, it was just kind of like yesterday. Yesterday we had a little bit better at 12 o'clock. Yesterday we probably had 16 or 17. And then at 1 o'clock or so, we started culling up and culling up. We just couldn't get that giant bite like some of these other guys did. Uh, like we never had anything really over five and a half, uh, you know, maybe six. And uh, if we'd have had one of those giants, it really would have bumped us, which doesn't matter now. But um, we just had a bunch of solid fish, and we were just afraid that yesterday we caught too many of those, you know, three and three quarter, four pounders, you know, just trying to cull up. We were just culling by ounces yesterday, and uh, we was really afraid that was going to kill us. And that's why today it was, we probably didn't catch, but. That's where yesterday we probably caught 40 fish. Today we probably caught 10. What do you think? Okay, on your home okay, yeah. Said it was meant to be. We uh, we called twice in the last 20 minutes. We had two called two four pounders in the last 20 minutes. So, I mean, just amazing. It's, it's awesome. What do you think? Uh, just considered your home water. Do you think that gave you any kind of advantage, or do you think that worked against you ahead, or I think that played? I think. Uh, honestly, somewhat, but not not to, to like most of these kids because we'd never fished this water. I mean, we found it in practice, but we didn't know what it was capable of. And, I mean, I think the our first area that we started on and caught 15 pounds, that kind of was home knowledge, but everybody knew about it. There were several boats on it. So, um, But not, not to what most people would think. I think it was more just that our style of fishing helped us more than anything, actually. Let's talk about the wind itself. What does it, what, it feel like to... Uh, let's take a step back. Alright, cool. What's it think? What's it feel like to win this tournament for you? Oh, this is huge for us. Um, we're really the underdogs of our whole team. I mean, we're the. I'm from the Coos River, and he's from Smith Lake. That's two polar opposites, and you got Tennessee River out in the middle. And uh, our styles of fishing really clash with what you're supposed to do to win out here. And uh, but I really think that worked to our advantage. And we had we didn't really have a whole lot of boat pressure, you know, compared to what a lot of people had. Uh, you know, we. Didn't have to. We weren't crossing any lines, and uh, but um, but no, it, it was awesome winning today. Uh, we never expected, never expected this at all. Still hasn't set in. Still hasn't set in. It's awesome, awesome. And you just brought it back to UNA. It's been a while. It's the first time, ever. Uh, first time ever. Okay. Nobody's ever done it uh, from UNA. We've had a bunch of second places, and usually have a boat in the top five, but nobody's ever finished, and it was huge. It was so huge. I still, I mean, it's just unreal. It's awesome. It's an awesome experience. What's it going to feel like going back to the school with this trophy? Awesome. We told everybody we'd bring it home, and uh, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be crazy. It's going to be crazy. I mean, everybody was joking. You know how they have the pictures on the stage of the people in the past. They're like, that's going to say Sloan and Hunter next year. And we were just, you know, everybody's just joking because, like we said, we're the underdogs. Yeah, and it was just, it happened. It worked out, and it was meant to be. What I said all day, I had to keep telling myself if it's meant to be, it'll happen. And it did, so awesome, awesome.